Okay, so far what uh, what we discussed. Okay, so we we started with flex cards. Let's have a quick recap. So we started with flex cards. We learn how to so what is how uh, how we design the flex card uh, how we design the flex cards and first we have started with how to add the data source to the flex cards <clears throat> what are the different elements we have and how many ways we can add the data onto the uh, under data onto the flex cards like using the field list <coughs> field element and text element and we learn how to use the style tab to set the height width once again to set the height and width to set the height and width or appearance uh, the pad adding the padding margin adding the custom style everything we can do in the style tab right also, we learn like different elements, icon element, image, uh, icon element, action element, menu element, okay, different elements, how to use, uh, how to access this element, how to use this element, how to drag and drop on the card. And uh, so we're done with the, we, the function, as per the functionality, we are done with the account, team account MasterCard. The team account MasterCard, we completed with the account card. Now we started with the working on contact card. The contact card is a child card. This child card we have cloned. We have cloned this card and added the data source. Add the data source. Also, we went to the parent card. In the parent card, we are able to embed the child card. So here, we we are uh, using the data source in the child card itself, right? We are using the data source in the child card itself, right? We use a flex card element. We used a flex card element. We used flex card element to come embed the child card into the parent. Okay, so that's what we have learned so far. Now let's uh, work on. Let's start working on. Team case cards. Okay. Team case cards. If we see the as per the functionality what we are implement, as per the functionality what we implement, like so far what we have done. So we implemented a account the account team master account card. In that we designed account block. This is our account block. Here we are displaying the account card. And we added the, now we added contact card. We just completed the contact card. Con it's here it will display the multiple contact cards. Now we are going to add case cards. So whatever the related related cases will be there, those cases will be displayed here, case card. Okay. So what is learning point here? What is the learning point here is how we now in the previous card, contact card, we use the data source in the child object, child card itself. Right? We implement in the child card itself. But now we are going to push the data. How we can put like if the child card doesn't have the data source, how we are going to push the data source to the child card. Okay, so that's what we are going to learn now. So let's see. So everyone, are you able to log? Okay, do you, are you 
log into the application. Yes. Go to the Omni Studio Flex card. Go to the Omni Studio Flex card and search for team. Team. And here we are working on case card. So here we are using the team starter case card. Team starter case card. So we are starting from. Uh, so we are working on team starter case card. Team starter case card. If you see the start this starter pack. So as we discuss in our orgs. The starter packs are available, right? To wherever we have, what wherever we have uh, completed the previous exercise, right? So whatever we have done previously, we will not repeat. Like what we have done previously, we added the block and we added the field. Okay, case case number, and here we have a subject. These are the field properties. Here it is added a field property. Here is a field. So here we are using the we are using the field and text, text and field property field uh, elements, text and field elements, and also we have icon element. We have another uh, action prop action element. Okay, so which is a omni script action which we have completed already, which we have known already, right? So the, here we are using the field property field elements. These are the field elements. So we are displaying the data using the text elements and field element. So that's why we are not repeating the same thing. Okay. So first thing, let's clone this card. Is everyone on the same page? Is everyone on the same page? Yes. Okay, great. So please clone this card. Please clone this card. And here, once you click on clone, remove the name starter. Just remove the name starter. In the name, card name, remove starter word. Okay. And click outside. You, you see that card title also changes to the same name. And the child now the starter cases card is a child card. So we have to we have to leave this option as is. Leave this option as is and then clone. Okay, now if you, you see here already, okay, uh, everyone just wait, make sure that uh, you see the LWC card successfully created. Please make sure that the LWC card successfully created. So here, if you see the data already there in the child case card, right? I can see, I can see case number, some subject, status, date, right? So we all so that it case this case card already contains the data. How to verify the data source is there or not? Where to verify? How to verify the data source? Is available or not? Set up. Set up. Okay, good. Set Hold up. Down. We can see the data source. Yes, perfect. So data source here is integration. Integration processor. And team get case list is a team get case list is a data, uh, integration processor which we have configured. Okay. Fine. So we'll see this later. Now click on date open. Let's see one thing here. Click on the date opened. Now you see what is the data field type for this field? It is selected text. So date field should be which data type? We have a date data type. So select here date, just a date. Select the field type as date. Select the field type as date. The cool thing is once you select the date, you can set the format. Okay, so however you want to set the format, let's say YY MM 
DD. So it is in YY MMDD. Okay, if you add YY, it add the year. So how how you want to display, you can display year, month, date, or DD MM YY YY. Easily you can change the date formats. Okay. But the date, so when we go with the formats, like uh, you can go with like currencies or for the date fields. If we are using any of these kind of fields, the better you always go with the field element and set the format and set the field type. Okay. So do this change and see how you can change the format. Okay, then everyone. Yes, it's done. Okay. So now let's go to this, go back to setup and remove the data source. How to remove data source? Go to setup in data source select none select none so select if you select none means whatever the data we we, we see this in card it will disappear so this card will not show any data right so make sure you select none so make sure you select the data source type as none okay and once you select the none go and activate the card so just what we are doing we are making sure it doesn't have the data source okay so you can preview because it will generate the lightning component or if it is just update the lightning component preview and you can activate Okay, so and also action also already conf configured. You can activate this card. Review and activate the card. Um, Asif, do we have to select publish options here or just say done? No, just done. Uh, publish is not required because this is a child card. Okay. So once we embed to the parent card, we publish. Just activate and done. Fine. So make sure you act, uh, activate the card and then just hit refresh. Why we need to do refresh? Before we embed, if we recently activate any card, if we want to embed this card into the parent, the refresh is required, okay? So you can close once you activate. Now go back to that same Omni Studio Flex card and search for team. Now this time you have to select team case parent. 
team cases parent you see team cases parent so open the version one team case parents team case parents is it on the same page so we open just open team case parent okay so let's see what is a set what is the data source for this setup of the this pair uh, this card okay just let's make sure what is the data source here so it is have the same data source integration browser team gate case list right you already passed the input parameters and we have test parameters also we have if i let's say one fetch what it will so okay, it is returning two records this returning two records okay so now what it what we need to do so we have a block element here so expand the block element so what we should do to embed the child card what we should do go we need to go to build build and we need to drag the flex card and we can drop it Able over there and okay fine so let me if when you drag and drop right so in the block so always go from the bottom like here and you see okay you see the play like in minute so if you just slowly you have to go and you see the blue line and draw once you see the blue line drop there now we have to add the flex card right in this we have to add the flex card so in the same child card properties what was the name team team cases right is this a card which we have just activated team cases so select the card oh okay the card is coming but how about the data we we add the case card so team case card the team cases we just in the flex card name you have to type team cases okay if the if the team case card is not active or if it is not a child or if it is a um not a, okay if it is not a child if it is not active if it is not if the page now refresh the card name will not be visible like for example team master account can i see team master account we don't see the team master account because team master account is not available not available right it is not available because it's a parent you cannot embed the parent so we are able to embed the team cases card okay now how to pass how to push the data how to push that now where is the data source now where is the data source when we selected data nodes and select the node Oh, transfer okay. the data from the parent card to child card excellent so we have to pass the data from so here data node is a property data node is a property so in the data node property in the data node property okay we have to specify the node json node name which will send the data to team cases team cases card team cases card okay so what node once you select here whatever the nodes available in this card it is showing okay so here we will select records here we will select records okay and click preview once you select the records in data nodes once you select the records preview
you can see two cards. So here, you see two, two records in the same thing, right? Again, if you go to K01003, I see again in the child, I see two, two cards. So why it is happening? Because here the node should be not records. Here the node should be record. Yeah. So we have to specify only the record node. We have to only specify the record node. In the data data node, you have to specify the only record node. Okay, that will show. So it is bringing, the, there are two case, this has a hard-coded data. This is a hard-coded data coming from the hard-coded JSON, okay? So that JSON we have added in the integration model. I will show you how it is added and from where it is coming, I'll show you later. I'll show you this later. Everyone clear, able to see? So how we push the data? We push the data in the data node. We push the data from parent to child using the data node, using the data node. We push the data from parent to child using data node, using data node okay so a child card a child card can have its own data source the question can we, can we have a data source on child card yes or no yes we can so we can have a data source on the child card or you can push the data from parent card anything you can do okay anything we can do or you can push the data or you can you can push the data or you can get that you can uh, have a its own data source in the child card okay so this one you can activate and this card must be published publish means just you can verify is exposed checkbox and record page is there or not at home record page should be checked okay say that save it publishing okay so we are done with account block now three, we are implementing a 360 degree view for customer right so what we are implementing we are implementing the 360 degree view for the customer so we implement account information we and contact card case card okay so the other very important block we have already in a team master account is weather block right weather block so this weather block this weather block we will create 
we will create a weather card. So we have this already weather block, but it is a blank empty that does not have anything. This block is empty. So what we will do here is we will implement a, another card instead of here. We implement another card. We implement another card. This is called a weather card. Weather card. So this weather card display the external data. It display what? External data. Okay. It explain it, uh, it display the external data. It displays the external data. So what we are going to do with this? Uh, what we are going to do? How we are getting this information? And what other elements? New element we are learning. Okay, that is our learning point. So first thing is getting the action data. Anyway, we are using the step data now. In our uh, later sessions, we will replace that with a live data. Okay. And here we are using some image, the some a new element called image element to display the images. Okay. Image element. We use the image element. How we display the image element using the how uh, how we display image using the image element. Another external system data adding the flyout actions here also we add we are going to add the flyout actions what is the flyout actions we are going to add so last time we discussed that in flyout what is a flyout means once user click on that action you will invoke okay you will invoke okay you will invoke a uh, like you will show some pop-up model if you show a some model box okay pop-up in model you can display in model or a pop-up you can do once your user click on that it will display pop-up on pop-up what you can do what types you can display there are three flyout types we discussed already what are the three flyout types one is Omni script which we already done on contact action on a contact action we already done this so you can display Omni script you can display a child card you can display a child card that will called as flyout card that will called as a flyout card also you can add also you can add a custom lightning component like custom lightning web component remember once you configure the flyout action type you can configure omniscript child card and custom lightning web component custom lightning web component custom lightning web because so the flyout how the flyout is will display once user click on that link action once user click on that action okay you can display you can display omniscript or child card or custom lightning web component using the model model pop-up using the model pop-up using the model pop so that we are going to work on here in this weather card Okay, so that is weather card. So let's work on this weather card. Okay, so let's okay. Once you activate, you can close this. And in the same Omni Studio Flex card, you see team starter weather, the last one. You see team. See last team starter weather. Are you able to locate team starter weather? T 
team starter weather. Open the version one. Is everyone on the same page? Yes. Okay, great. So here uh, we have here we have uh, already if you see we are displaying some fields this is a text property and this is also text property and this is also okay this is an action here okay so we have some information here we are displaying some city state information so all we are using some text elements we are using text element okay and here we have one block property okay so first let's add the data source okay before that let's clone we are not anytime we will not work on the starter pack always we clone the starter packs so let's clone it let's clone it let's clone it and uh, we'll say this as team weather always we have to clone the starter packs and remove the starter name and we say should say team weather team weather and then clone it so we are almost completing the flex cart concepts so from we started with us from the scratch we started the configuring the flex cards using the flex card as a tool and we learned the what are the build elements we have how to add the properties how to do the styling and set up still the lightning web component is getting created okay so you should see this lwc successfully created until you cannot do anything So please confirm once you see the message LWC created successfully. I was able to see the message. That's good. Okay. So what is the first thing? Adding this, adding the data source. So how to add the data source? How to add the data source? How to add the data source? Setup. Okay. Good. Scroll down. Perfect. Data source select integration procedure. The, so here we are using integration procedure and search for T underscore get weather forecast. Team get weather forecast. Do okay. This team get weather forecast team get weather forecast is required any input parameters we are using this team get weather forecast integration procedure okay which weather it will give which weather information it will give the in response so do we need to pass any input parameters we need to pass our current location geolocation or any kind of parameters okay so for now we don't know like which location okay integration let's hand let's handle that in integration procedure okay how we get the location but at least we need to pass for which customer so let's pass the only account id for now Let's pass only the account ID now. Okay. So the key is account ID. And in the badge syntax, we pass record ID. Record ID. Okay. And we'll add another value that is we are saying, okay. Here we will display not only the current data. We also display the next to five days forecast data. Okay. So like how many days is the external system 
allowed to fetch and how many days we required is we required days we as a parameter how many days value we want five days forecast data we required so we are passing two parameters account id we are passing to the integration procedure integration procedure will uh, will check like whether they want they should pass the number of okay uh, location or city state or any other information okay or any other information to get the to retrieve the data okay so these are the two parameters we are passing here account id and days key account id value record id i capital here record id i capital and days 5 Okay. Now, once you're done, click on save and fetch to see the data. So, data uploaded successfully to the card. Let me always, it is advisable that whatever the JSON you are working, let's take into the notepad. So this is my data JSON. Okay, in this data JSON, in this data JSON, can you tell me how many parent nodes we have? Not root nodes. How many parent nodes we have? How many parent nodes we have? No, I am asking about only parent nodes, not root nodes. There are two parent nodes. There are two parent nodes, forecast and current. And current icon, forecast icon, current icon, forecast icon are root nodes. They don't have any child. But forecast and current node have both having the both are the parent nodes. It has a child nodes. So here in this weather card, we don't need a forecast detail. We'll display the forecast data because you see, if you want to display the forecast data, this is like five next to five days forecast data. This data, like accessing this data, is like where you will display. You do we have do you have space to display on a card? Always remember that in the flex card, we display the important information. The next five days forecast is a not that important. Maybe it's not a not required for some users. Only some few users who want to see today's forecast. May not not sorry today's weather. Mainly user will see today's weather. If any user want to see that next five days forecast, they will click on the action button or something. Somehow you have to display okay so here what we need we need only current node data so what we should do here if i want to only current node what i should do if i want current node data what should i do under um, result json path you select Mm -hmm. um current current yeah perfect so in the result json path select current very good and click save and fetch what you okay you just loaded the only the you just loaded the you just loaded the current json okay current node json cool you see the data You see the data already? 
Yep. Perfect. Okay. So that's how we added that current data, that is external system data. But this data will will replace with live data, live external system data in our coming sessions. Okay. So net okay. Next, let's configure the image element. You have one block property here, weather image. So select that and go to build. Go to build and drag and drop image element under the build you see drag and under the build you see image element please drag and drop the image element please drag and drop the image element inside the weather image block drag and drop the image so how you can display the image? To display the image, you can have any image in your system, or you can upload to the content, the files, and you can access from here. You can access from here, okay? So how do you have to do? In the image source, image prop properties, image source, click on the magnifier icon. You can upload a file, you can upload a image file or you can see in the drop down we have weather banner active where this information is coming this information is coming from the documents like what documents we have in the document it is loaded the, the images are loaded already the system so weather banner active so select weather banner active weather banner active and save that's how it display the image and the size you can check okay small means how it will display fit content large So it is fit to content, fit content. You can leave with this option as is. Or you can leave with the large option. So to make to con to just configure to make sure this is, is everything is properly working, you can just preview. In preview mode, you can see how it how the data how the card looks on the UI. So done everyone. Yeah. Okay. Now I have one action here. Once I click on this action, I want to display. I want to display five days forecast. Okay five days forecast so for that we have to configure this action if i configure this action as flyout action and flyout type what should i mention what we discuss we can mention as child card custom lightning web component or a omniscript so if i select the child card do you have a card 
Do you have a card with a display, displaying four to five days forecast? Do we have a card where we are displaying the five days forecast? We don't have, so we have to create one child card. We have to create one child card. We have to create one child card where we display the five days forecast. So for this, we have to display, we have to we have to create a child card. See, team weather is already a child card. Team weather is already a child card. This card I will embed into the account team account master. Team account master. Now this weather card, what I'm saying is, I'm going to add action and that action will trigger so not trigger it will invoke it and it will display it should display another card with the five days for forecast details so whether is a child whether is a child card can a child card contains another child card it may be a certification question they will not ask in this simple way. I believe it can. Yeah. yeah, we can add. We can add a child card. You can embed a child card. You can you can embed a child card into another child card. Okay. So here we are going. We are going to add a child. So as a flyout action, we are going to add a flyout card. Are we having that flyout card? We don't have the flyout card. So what we should do? Let's go back to Omni Studio Flex Cards. Go to Omni Studio Flex Card tab here. Let's create a new card from the scratch. Click on New. So now we are familiar with creating or cloning the Flex Cards, right? Okay, so new flex card, give name, flex card name, uh, team weather forecast, team weather forecast, camel case, team weather forecast, we prefix with the team, that is our requirement, project requirement. So should we enable this child, is child toggle? Should we enable or not? We should. We should, okay, let's enable. Okay, and then, yeah, you have to provide the description, otherwise you can, or you can just click next. And here, add the integration data procedure as a data type, sorry, uh, so data source type. Select the integration processor as a data source type. Click next. So use the same integration processor team underscore get weather forecast. Team get weather forecast. The same integration processor. You have to select from the drop down. If you don't select from the drop down, the next button will be disabled. So go to input parameters, pass the same parameters here. What's the same parameters? What's the same ID parameters? Record ID. Very and good. days is equals to five. I yes. have a quick question. Instead of yes. getting using the IP, like using using the integration, we are getting the data by using the integration procedure, right? Why don't you Sorry. pass from the parent uh, card to child card using the node? Methods. Yes, we can do, but 
there we have not we have added only loaded the current node not forecast node okay okay right yeah. so that's why we are having a its own child card here child card data source got it yeah got you can it. pass only forecast node also one second yeah i'm sorry so same thing add a days days five so let's pass these two parameters and click next and here click fetch and here what data we need what data we need forecast data or current data forecast data yeah so result json but add only forecast even you can see table okay let's click okay add forecast and click fetch so you should see the five days information okay five days information okay so once done click save which will launch the team weather forecast it is creating a component the spinner is you can see the spinner while well, it is creating a lightning web component once it is done you will see the success message lwc successfully created Okay, good. Does everyone see the message? Yes. Please confirm. Do you see everyone able to see the message successfully created, right? Okay. So now let's uh, build this card. Okay. Here, what I need is uh, let's add two blocks. Just add two blocks. One. Again, go back to block. I build and again add another block. You see the after the first block at the second block block zero and block one 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 so add two blocks in the first block in the first block add icon element drag and drop the icon element inside the block block zero inside the block zero and you can name the block zero zero you can just say icon and block one you can name it as five days forecast five days forecast okay five days forecast so block one name we change to icon and block two we change to five days forecast in icon let's add the icon element so let we know already how to configure the icon element is everyone on the same page let me know if i'm going lit fast or if you are are you able to catch up
are able to follow anyone facing any issues Can you hear me, everyone? No, she's yes. coming. Okay, I was wondering what happened. Okay. So, okay, shall we move forward? Is everyone on the same page? Able yes. to add an icon? Okay. So, let's uh, select the type as Salesforce SVG. Select the type as Salesforce SVG. Select the type as Salesforce SVG and click on icon magnifier. In icon magnif, click on this for magnifier, magnifier icon and search for uh, forecast. Just you search for forecast, you see the forecast icon. Okay, just everything should be small. When you're searching, everything should be in small forecast and select the same standard colon forecast search for forecast and select the forecast you see the forecast icon one thing here remove this extra class we don't want this color okay don't worry if it is invisible change the variant from inverse to default Uh, size also you can change to large. Okay, done everyone. Yes. That's good. Now next what? A very important thing, okay? The very important thing here that is adding the five days forecast adding the five days forecast see displaying the five days information displaying the five days information is really difficult like it need a lot of space so how we are going to display here is we are going to use a element called element called data What's the element name? Data table. Data table. So we are going to display the five days forecast with the help of data table. So we'll go to build and you see the card, the, uh, you see the build the element called a data table. Data table. So let's drag and drop the data table element inside the inside the five days forecast oh okay from where you can okay once i drag and drop i see date condition temperature from where do these fields are coming these columns are coming from there where these columns are coming by using uh, integration processor and it's fetching the data excellent yes so this is a date condition temperature foreign aid temperature in celsius so these four nodes as displaying as a columns and these are array, array of data okay that's cool right whatever the data json it have we have the data table is how uh, how simple it is a backend actually it's selecting data table component it's a lightning data table component backend. So Velocity have done so much of work here to bring this. In the classic in Velocity, before December 2020, we were using the classic cards there, not in flex card, in classic card, even the configuration and the lot of configuration we used to do the lot of configuration we used to do whatever the columns you have to display those columns you have so we used to pass as a 
json okay and also everything should be we have we should use to mention everything like what is the column name what is the type is it a sortable everything we used to mention uh, we used to mention in the json even column names and again we have to pass so in the data table data table tag lightning tag takes a two para two things one is columns one is records but here you are not doing anything everything is handled and rendered already already embedded so just taking the data and also already it's taking the nodes json nodes and displaying the column names okay so here if i want to add or remove the column how can we do that so in the data table properties you see the column and pencil icon please locate that pencil icon and take on it to if you want to make this if you want to make any changes you have to click this pencil icon column pencil icon in the table property so here we go is it a sortable, a searchable, field label? Everything we used to give you previously is a manual. As a JSON, not even a configuration, as a code we used to give. That is also eliminated. They want to make, okay, Velocity want to make this everything as a drag and drop. Cool. Even develop, they are making the life easier for even developers. Right? So easily you can add columns, you can remove the columns. So I don't want to remove the the temperature. We have foreign net sales. Yes, I want to display only foreign It's fine. Display. That's it. Save. Save. Okay. Clear everyone. How to add the data table? Not much right not much configuration but you are displaying a lot of information let's see the preview let's see the preview how it displays click on preview everyone okay do you see any like issue here yeah it's repeating because we are using records over there instead of record no that is a passing the data node as a record but here the card is repeating there the card was repeated there the card was also repeated the records also is repeated but here what is happening Only the, card card is the card is repeating a yeah, number of records are already there how many do you have five days forecast data we are getting the five days forecast data and we are having the five days information okay so why it is happening because of repeat records because of repeat records checkbox so what in the setup if you go to setup repeat records if you unselect the repeat you are not pushing the data right are you pushing the data to the child node child card do we have the child card here no right so the repeat record is problem how many records you are passing five records so that's why each time it will display one card when you are displaying related contact related cases you the card should be repetitive right the card should be repetitive the card should be repetitive if you are passing the uh, number of records but you are passing the number of records that's true but you are displaying as a table all the records in one one all the records you are displaying in one table so no need to repeat that five times 
So that's why you unselect this repeat cards. Unselect the repeat records. And one more thing, I don't like the icon and table in two different. Okay, let me, let's do one thing. Icon is using the complete space. The block is using the complete space, right? So what we can do here? What we can do here? Go to dimension. Reduce the width. Yes, very good. What? Not don't select the icon and reduce. Select the block. The, the main block. Select the main block. Icon block. Select the main block. Go to style. And in dimension, what is required? Four, three, two. Okay, let's leave it as two. And the next five days forecast also change to 10 so that both in the same line. Okay, looks good. Also, there is one more thing. If you click on the table properties, table properties and go to style, you see separate CSS for the table. Wow. Right? Separate section you see for the table data table. Correct? Select the data table properties and go to style. Click on style. Select the table proper table element. Data table element and go to the style. You see separate section for data table. Do you notice? Do you notice that? Yes, no? Yes. Yeah, so you can add a uh, only for table properties. If you want to add something, you can do this, okay? So let's let me let's do this thing. Uh, if you want to add see whether how it will work. Font weight, let me change to bold. Small change. Font weight I change to bold. Okay. Okay. And also let's do one more thing. In in the properties, when you click on pencil icon, how you are displaying the date? What is the type? So select the date D. You see first only uh, first letter. You can increase the size if you want to see more. So let's select the date and preview and activate. So we are done with this card. So tomorrow we'll combine everything. Whatever we have in bits and pieces, let's combine everything and Okay, so is this clear everyone? So we have icon and table here and table date we are displaying the date format. Okay, clear everyone? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, so that's all for today. We'll catch up tomorrow. So Everyone joining tomorrow or? Is everyone joining tomorrow? I can join. I can join. I can join. Okay, that's good. Yes, so let's, uh, let's have a session same time tomorrow. Thank you. Have a good day. Good night. Take care.